What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to do a Super Bowl catch-up of three trailers that we did not cover yesterday. We're going to watch the Super Mario Brothers ad, the Indiana Jones of the Dial of Destiny ad, and the Creed 3 spot as well. So, of course, join with John. How are you? I am good, sir. How are you? Doing great. Ladies and gentlemen, first order of business, go ahead. You can leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Also, um, one of the best ways to support the channel is check out some of our awesome merch, like Who Influences the Influencers, Reject Nation, oh, beanies, real rejects, so much attire. Hey. I'm really proud of this one here with the design myself. Yeah, there's video chapters if you guys want to hop around. But go to shopzeroedition.com. Get yourself some apparel of the Reject Nation. Represent, yo. All right, so the first one we're going to start off with, let's check out the Mario commercial. It's only 30 seconds long. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we're the Mario Brothers and Plumbing's a game. We're not. Oh. <laughs> all the same. No it's way. Like a cartoon. We're faster than the others. You'll be hooked on the brothers. 90s nostalgia. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Super Mario Bros. <laughs> it seems like the only thing you haven't drained is my bank account. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. For super uh. service, call or text Super Mario Bros. Plumbing today. Oh my at god. 9955 Mario. Or reach us on the World Wide Web at smbplumbing.com. We're making a phone That's call a right now. Number. Let's let's see what's going on with Do this it. phone call. That's cool. That's gotta be like the commercial that plays in the actual movie, but the nostalgia with that element. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, flashing back to like all the classic, like extraneous Mario media <laughs> of the nineties. Oh, here we go. Thank you for calling Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. It's for me, Luigi. And if you need service, please uh, text us at the same number. You just call nine two nine five five Mario. That's nine two nine five five six two seven four six. Less than just about any issues wherever you live. House, condo, mansion, and we'll be sure to text you back right away because the Super Mario Brothers Plumbing. We don't say let's go. Wait. We say let's go. Let's go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's some great marketing right there. That's yeah. some great Charlie Day Luigi right there. It's got to be a commercial that plays in the actual movie yeah. before before he goes into the Mushroom Kingdom is what I imagine before they get sucked into there. Yeah. I imagine maybe we'll see the prologue is Bowser attacking sure. and then we do like we're all like serious and shit yeah. and then it goes into like guts to black and then we're the mario brothers yeah yeah, yeah. super marketing budget that's right i man. love it i love it that's good all right let's see the indiana jones one next you have we met my memory is a little fuzzy <laughs> you still a nazi <laughs> once a nazi always a nazi Salah. Oh. What are you doing here? Let's go, yo! Hang up! Okay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Rescuing you! <laughs> She's in danger. And he has to go rescue her. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, that's good it's comedy. funny stuff. It's good subversion of expectations. I mean, Indiana Jones, classic spectacle here. <laughs> I'm liking it. Some of the younger Harrison Ford not looking as good as it first did. Uh, this one shot or very early on where Toby Jones is messed up in the background. Harrison Ford, that is, it looks like deep fake. It's got that, it's got that weird, like, it's got glow that, around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like, it feels like it just had a piece of plastic peeled off of it, and it's like brand new silicone or something like that. Yeah, it's still a fun little teaser for what's to come. Yeah, it's got all the swashbuckling you could want. It's got, you know, the, the stamp of the time period it's taking place in, you know. It looks like an Indiana Jones movie, and it doesn't look too far out there like a Crystal Skull. I'm not sure yet if we should react to it. Or if we should just go watch it in the theaters and enjoy it for ourselves and then talk about it. Still not sure what to I do. I know, right? It depends on if it's uh, if people say it's great, you know? Yeah. If it's another Crystal Skull, then we should watch it on TV. If it's a great Indiana Jones send-off, we got to check it out on the big screen. I think it'll be better than Crystal Skull, but who knows? <laughs> if this movie sucks, it'll, you'll get your Crystal Skull defenders rising to the surface. Oh, yeah. That's all it takes. <laughs> what all have right. you done for me lately? All right. Let's watch this 45-second spot for Creed 3 next. Ready or not? I'm ready. ready. Here I come. Cause I'm ready. Uh. Can't hide. I want it all. Ooh. 
There may have been a time when Damien had your back. Now he wants but to take you. Anymore. Now he wants to break it. Hey, I'm just getting started, little brother. <sighs> I'm coming for everything. Can't get over that body, Muscle Beach. I'm ready. I'm ready. Dodger Stadium. Don't let him destroy everything you've built. Ready or not. Dude. Now, this one I'm in major conflict over. <laughs> Whether or not we go react to it every here, wait for it to come out on VOD. I know. Or go to the theaters because uh, the early reactions were saying, I'm a sucker for IMAX. And they were saying the IMAX shots and the box. Because I've always wanted to see that. I've yeah. always wanted to see that. Ever since Nolan came on the screen with you know the Dark Knight films, like, man, it'd be so cool to watch a boxing match with IMAX cameras. And when I, he when I hear how cool it is, I'm like, ah, damn. That's like the main thing I've been root championing for, and I feel like I might have made my decision already. It's <laughs> just now. Uh, yep. yeah. Okay, it's, all, it's fine. I'll sit here and react to it, and you go check Please, it out. Please, John. The thank you. I appreciate <laughs> I'll, it. I'll take the bullet. And, you know, and I don't want to spoil anything of Quantumania for you guys. Nothing at all. Um, I'm sure you've but heard when Creed of, shows up, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> They've really broken the multiverse yep. here. <laughs> and I'm saying that when uh, there's that... Fight tease in the main trailers. Yes. Where Ant Man and King are, are throwing fisticuffs at each other. And the way Jonathan Majors moved there, I got pulled out for a split second and went, I can't wait to see him in Creed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. holy crap, is he ferocious? <laughs> well, that's the thing is he, I mean, you know, he, he looks scary as Kang, certainly, but this looks utterly terrifying. Yeah. yeah, and it's such a Rocky style premise, so it's all personal, and they have like, you know, the the shattered relationship from the past, yeah. and then just all this anger that the Jonathan Majors character Damien has built up over time. Like I I feel like it is gonna give them a run for their money in terms of just sheer epicness and emotionality. Well, I think I'm going to have to go watch this IMAX. Well, I'll, maybe I'll decide later. But the early reactions have been, like, overwhelmingly yeah. positive. And I know that's usually the case, but I don't smell bullshit with those early reactions. Nah. <laughs> you know, like, it is, this, sometimes you can read between the lines. I'm like, people are being pretty straightforward about how, like, freaking epic and cool this movie <laughs> the, really the, is. The Rocky movies had their ups and downs. If Creed Three wasn't terrific, I feel like people wouldn't have too hard time of too hard a time saying so. Fair enough. <laughs> you know. All righty, guys. Well, before we go, what did you think uh, of, of the Super Bowl trailer spots? We did not get a Little Mermaid. Cost too much money or something like that to put out. But guys, leave a like. Check out the other reactions we cover for the Super Bowl. And last but not least, send this with a. <laughs> James Smith, I want to fight you. This is me throwing down the gauntlet. It's on, man. Creed is the freshest in my mind, but it's okay because, you know, we have a destiny to fulfill. We will have to dial in our choices in this life that bring us closer together, but also closer to tearing each other apart. But then think about it. Maybe we meet in the ring. Maybe we throw fisticuffs and realize that we have a bond all along, not unlike that of two brothers, and then maybe from there we can let all of that anger go and just go start unclogging people's toilets and things like that and, you know, fixing pipes, you know, maybe uh, eating various, uh, you know, fungi and things like that. I feel like we can put our differences aside, James Smith, and we can walk out of this as, you know, a super set of, of real brothers. So uh, I hope you're doing well this month, this February and uh, I hope, you know, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I hope you're doing something nice, uh, you know, getting a little romantic. And uh, we'll catch you next month for St. Patty's Day. Catch you, buddy.